Welcome back. Starting north of our borders, informal traders in Bulawayo in Zimbabwe say they want to trade with the South African rand. The Zimbabwean government introduced bond notes in November last year as part of measures meant to address a liquidity crunch in Zimbabwe. Our reporter Diabo Seto has more. Just bond. If I've got bond uh, and then the other one has got US, I have to put 150 bond to get 100 US. The Bulawayo local market shared their views on how the local bond currency impacts on their daily business and ultimately their trade imports. Masakane Traders Association say the rules of import trading are getting stricter and import duties are also constantly escalating. They say trading with the RAND would be more helpful for their businesses. The bond notes is meant to be trading at par with the US dollar, with the RAND and the, with, with the PULA, but practically on the street, it's much, much devalued. And when you sell your, your, your wares in the bond note and you want to now go out there and uh, get, get the US dollar, get the RAND, the rates are so ridiculous. You, 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 you do not want to hear. It's about 135 US dollars, 135 bond notes per 100 US dollars. So it's very difficult. And the rates keep going up and down, up and down. They fluctuate and at the end of the day, when you have sold something for $10, you might find out that you have actually made a loss. For vegetable traders like Nathan Nguenya and others, the impact of trading with bond notes is more devastating. Yeah, South African rates, I'm, I'm quite sure that's the best because most of things, some other things, they're coming from South Africa. We are buying them from South Africa, uh, make the result here. So I'm quite sure a South African rand can pay us, make us live better. If the rand will be perfect because it will not change its value, we won't need to constantly change currencies in business. High exchange rates are a challenge and their call for a multiple currency echoes throughout this trading sphere. Diabo Seto, SABC News, Bulawayo, Zimbabwe.